<laughs> what the hell are you doing? I'm so behind on all of my TV shows, I'm never gonna catch up! <sighs> never fear, grab yourself a pumpkin beer! Fall TV season is here! Dr. Seuss has a TV show this fall too? Soap Suds, welcome back to another episode of the Geek Soapbox. I'm your host, Lee Ponton, and I'm joined by my co-host, Lee Bates. Yeah! So, it feels like it wasn't that long ago we were just sitting here saying, oh, all of our shows are done, the season finale, it's, it's over. Yeah. And now, here we are, premiere week is upon us. Shows are already premiering. The big ones that I'm looking forward to are starting next week. So, this week on the program, we thought we'd give you a rundown of what we're planning on watching and giving you the dates that our shows are premiering. We're probably not going to go too in-depth about the shows, but we'll probably do that as they premiere. I don't even know where to start. I guess we should start at the beginning. On Monday, September 22nd, Big Bang Theory on CBS, Gotham on Fox, Sleepy Hollow on Fox, and The Blacklist on NBC. I watched The Blacklist. I'm eagerly awaiting Gotham. I think it's gonna be awesome. I saw a couple episodes of Sleepy Hollow. I didn't get a chance to catch up on that, so I don't know if I'm gonna watch it. I'm actually that, way more excited about Sleepy Hollow than most of those except for Gotham. Yeah. Yeah, we fell off the bandwagon on Big Bang. I last love year. Big Bang. I'm just I do too. I'm still on season six and mm -hmm. this is season eight, so Yeah. But I'm anticipating Gotham. Yeah. I think it's gonna be awesome. I like Ben McKenzie. I think it's gonna be fun. I, I, I hope it's well received without Batman. That was very southern. I worry about people going, eh, I need more drama and talking than yeah. gadgets and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know. I think it'll be really good. I think if you give it a chance, it'll, yeah, it'll I think, surprise you. I think you. people would be apprehensive because it's not what they know. Yeah. And they, that's what I like about it. Yeah, I know, exactly, because you don't know what's going to happen. It's a completely different spin. So I'm looking forward to that next week. We should have a review up sometime. And then Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. comes back on Tuesday night <laughs> on ABC. Uh, I love, I love it. I, love I do it. too. I wrestled this last weekend as an Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. I saw! That's awesome. <laughs> I uh, really love the show. It's Joss, yeah. though. I mean, you and I, of course, will love it. Everyone's like, oh, it's a slow start. I'm like, Joss, just, just give him, give him a just little wait. bit. He's got it. Just He's wait. got you. And, and they had the whole Winter Soldier thing to deal with. Yeah! It was like... They'll get there, they'll get there, and as soon as that hit, man, that show went into high gear. Yeah. Even before, before the then, season. I thought it was really great. It was fun. It was a really good character it was, yeah. study show, you know what I mean? And then the Winter Soldier thing happened, and it was like, whoa! Check it out, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Make I'll sure you watch Winter Soldier and uh -huh. first season, and then you're good. And I hear Peggy Carter makes an appearance in the first episode. Winter so I'm guessing it's going to tie into the Peggy Carter miniseries. That replaces Shield mid-season. That's pretty fun. Yes, yeah. so I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Expect a review in the near future. Okay, so if you guys are nerdy like I am and love the '80s, oh lord! If you haven't watched the Goldbergs on ABC, you are missing out. I'm missing out then because I'm missing that. It is like the Wonder Years, but more of a comedy set in the '80s. Yeah. If you were a child of the 80s like me, the Goldbergs is where it's at. This year... What day is that? It's going to be on Wednesday nights. Oh, is that watching on Wednesday? I don't remember. Uh, if you are one of those people that watches TV live. Yeah, if never, not, ever. <laughs> yeah, some of the episodes from last season might still be on there. It's funny. <laughs> and Modern Family comes back on Wednesday as well. <sighs> Alright, so looks like we're moving on to the 28th. Yeah. Alright, what's on that week? That is Once Upon a Time, which I watch, but you don't watch it anymore. I know! I liked it at the beginning when it was like, kind of like Lost, but... <laughs> it, it still kind of is. Veered. It veered. It veered, but if you would have stuck with it, there was some cool there's, moments. There's always time to go back to it, but there are other shows I want to watch more right now. I loved it, especially at the end. Regina is back! If you watch the show, you know what I mean. If you don't, don't worry about it. Oh, okay, the big one. Simpsons and Family Guy. Is the first episode the crossover? I don't no? know. I don't know. I, have to look I, that up. I haven't 
watched Family Guy in a while, but I might tune in to watch The Simpsons Family Guy. Oh yeah, definitely. Did you see the five minute? I did. That was awesome. I did. So I, yeah, I might watch that just because. The Vampire Diaries is coming back. Oh uh, snap, when is that? October 2. Alright, that's it. October 2nd to watch about 10 episodes of Vampire Diaries. You got it. You can make that happen. I'm not even lie. I it's fell off soon. Vampire Diaries because I got sucked into the originals. <laughs> Hardcore, which is the spin-off show of Vampire and Diaries. that premieres on the 6th. Ooh, that is so good! So good! Honestly, I think you could probably start the originals not watching Vampire Diaries. Mm. Sure, you have a little bit more of a background, but it's just a really good show by itself. Tuesday, October 7th, and Wednesday, October 8th. Uh, the One Two Punch. Flash premieres Tuesday night, <laughs> the show premieres Wednesday. I'm <laughs> stoked. Crossover episode coming early in the season. Ooh. I think we might have to have a special episode dedicated to just that. I'm okay with that. That'd be alright. Maybe there'll be costumes. I don't know. Also, <laughs> on the 8th of October, American Horror Story returns. American freak Horror show. Story Freak <laughs> Show is coming. <laughs> That's my creepy clown laugh. <laughs> Moving on! <laughs> what else is coming back? You're watching this though, right? Oh yes, The Walking Dead. You don't watch The Walking Dead. I don't! I don't know if you've noticed the list of shows I've already listed off. There's a lot. It's kind of hard to squeeze extra things in. Do you not read the comics either? I did. I stopped. You know this. I sold them all. <laughs> oh yeah, you did, didn't you? I remember that. Oh, uh, cue the clip. Okay, so we're here at Coliseum of Comics. I had a bunch of Walking Dead individual issues that I, I didn't want anymore. I've been buying hardcovers. They're much easier to deal with. So I brought them in. I didn't think I was going to get, you know, very much for them. They were early issues. Some good ones. And I ended up getting $1,000 in store credits. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's crazy. So, That's nuts. I picked out what he used to buy. You need this Galactus statue. And you can still buy some action figures or your books. I don't even like Galactus. What? How do you not like Galactus? I have a Galactus collection. For me. It's my birthday. That's not happening. <laughs> yeah, I got a thousand dollars worth of credit for them. What? The last thing on my list is Constantine on NBC premiering October 24th. No? Probably will watch it. It's just out of all of like the comic booky ones, the one I'm like least excited about. Really? I don't know. I, just, I feel like I don't want to insult anybody, but I feel like NBC sometimes doesn't do nerd right. They do comedy right. Are you kidding me? They did Heroes. They did Heroes. My point exactly. Did we see the end of Heroes and how it was awesome the first season, and then went. That was because of the writer's strike. And then they had to recover. That was not their fault. If Constantine was on Fox or ABC or CW, I'd feel way more confident about it. The one I'm reading, I think they're doing too many changes to it already. Really? I, mean, I haven't read that. Maybe I'm being a snob. I can be, sometimes those nerds can be snobs. I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna watch it. I think it's gonna be an ample replacement for Supernatural, which I've given up on. Okay. <laughs> You keep your Walking Dead, I'll take my Constantine. It's fine, you watch your shows and I'll watch my shows. Bye! And the ones that we both watch, we'll talk about. And you can do your own separate reviews. So, we just listed a bunch of the shows we're looking forward to. Did we miss some? Are there some that you're looking forward to that we didn't name? Let us know in the comments below. As always, click that like button. Let us know that you like this video. It makes us very, very happy. Make sure you share this with all your friends. And subscribe to the channel, that way you'll get a nifty little email saying, There's a new Geek Soapbox! Go watch it! We'll see you next time on the Geek Soapbox. Bye!